Hi, my name is Annika, and I'm from FTC Team 9794, Wizards at EXC, from Rockville, Maryland. As a lot of people have seen, our autonomous is able to reproducibly complete all the tasks during the autonomous period, and people are often shocked to hear that we did this entirely in the block programming software. At the beginning of the year, we set a goal to get every team able to program in autonomous, and to do this, we're going to teach block programming. We're going to share our entire autonomous program in Blocky and what it does. So our robot, the Wizard, uses the Rev Expansion Hub and ZTE Speed phones. Our drivetrain has mechanum wheels so that we can strafe and easily align to the crypto box columns. The way our autonomous works is that the first thing we do is knock off the jewel. We have two servos, a pan and a tilt, to control an arm, at the end of which is a color sensor. The sensor goes over the ball, detects its color, moves in the middle of the balls, and then knocks off the right one. We'll talk about the jewel in the next video. If you notice, we have an intake mechanism on four wheels, which has four servos. We'll also show you how to initialize servos in that next video. We then grab the glyph and move to the crypto box to place it. Our third video will talk about moving motors and using encoders. Knowing how far to go is based off of the VUMARK target, and this will be covered in the final video. Some people think you need powerful phones to use Euphoria, but the ZTE speed phone cameras are able to read the VUMARKs. By the end of this four-part video series, you'll have an insight to all parts of our autonomous code. Thanks for watching!